seven counts of making false statements to federal investigators. Uh, he, he was indicted today by a federal grand jury here in Washington, D.C. You know, back in July, Don, the FBI and the IRS raided uh, Senator Stevens' home in Alaska. They were looking closely at his ties to an Alaskan energy services company named Vico. Uh, their chief executive pleaded guilty to a bribery scheme involving state lawmakers. And uh, back in 2000, companies, uh, this company's executives oversaw a pretty elaborate remodeling of the senator's home. And uh, apparently, it was questions about that remodeling um, that investigators had asked that, that Stevens did not uh, supply accurate information about. Uh, you know, this is a very big deal, Don, as you know one of the most powerful men here in Washington. He's been a member of the Senate uh, since the late 60s, 1968. He was uh, chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee for six years, um, very much in control of, of federal spending. Uh, he was uh, being, he was looked at as part of a larger look at, at, at overall corruption, political corruption in the state of Alaska. Um, but, but Don, I'll tell you, um, you know, this, this indictment coming here in D.C., there's still an open question as to whether or not he will ever face any charges in his home state of Alaska. Uh, the investigation, of course, uh, does continue, and there, there really is no underlying charge here just yet. I mean, it's basically the false statements right. charge, but there's no charge of, of misappropriating funds or, or accepting bribes or anything like that. So, uh, you know, obviously this is something that um, that remains open. Yeah, and Kelly, this is uh, just coming down, and I'm sure, as I can see you're getting new information now, and as you read yes. over that, as you said, he is the longest serving Republican in the U.S. Senate and one of That's the chamber's right. most powerful members, of course. Uh, Absolutely. And he hasn't been in hiding either. I mean, right. he just voted yesterday on the floor I mean he, he's he's been he's been very much out in the open in public um, when he was asked about this uh, when his home was raided he said you know that he continued to believe that the investigation you know should proceed uh, without any appearance that he attempted to influence its outcome and uh, he has not commented at all on this Don um, okay. he had a policy of not commenting we'll see if he has something to see today though our justice correspondent Kelly Arena on top of our breaking news today and Kelly you've got lots of documents to look over so take a look over those and then she'll join us a little bit later on in the newsroom thank you very much for that Kelly